What is up everyone? It is Water and Grass here and today I have a whole plethora of Pokemon X and Y news to share with you guys. Now I am going to be going over the basics on my Water and Grass channel but I will have a much more detailed and informative video on Team Sinnoh's channel so definitely go check that out. It will be uploaded shortly after this video so you guys can always check that out. Always find the links down below in the description. I always leave a bunch of good ones. Uh, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Now you guys may have heard Mewtwo actually has a Mega Evolution, you know, Mega Mewtwo. Uh, but what you guys may not already know is the fact that Mewtwo actually has two Mega Evolutions. That's right, we have Mega Mewtwo X and Mega Mewtwo Y. Now, obviously, they're going to be version exclusive with Mega Mewtwo X being exclusive to Pokemon X and Mega Mewtwo Y being exclusive to Pokemon Y. Now, the interesting thing about Pokemon, uh, you know, the Mega Mewtwo X is the fact that it actually gains a type. That's right, Mega Mewtwo X is going to be the Psychic and Fighting type, so it's interesting that they did that. We'll go into a picture of Mega Mewtwo X in a little bit. But let's move on. So we have... Uh, one of everyone's favorite dragon type Pokemon, the Land Shark Pokemon himself, Mega Garchomp. That's right, Garchomp gets a Mega Evolution. I personally love Garchomp, so I, I'm in love with this. I mean, I love Lucario and Garchomp, and they both got Mega Evolution. So I'm really, really excited about this. We'll go into a picture of Mega Garchomp, like I said, in a little bit. We'll get to the pictures. Uh, fairy type, what it was super effective against, what it's weak to, what it resists, what it's not very effective against, and what it's immune to was actually revealed. I'll tell you what all of that is in uh, a Team Sinnoh video. You guys can also read it for yourself if you guys want. It's always on PokeBeach.com. That's where I get my information from. And I will leave a link to their site down below in the description. Now, with Fairy Type, Steel Type actually loses some of its resistances. That's right. Steel Type is going to lose its Dark and Ghost Type resistance. So it's interesting to see how that's going to work out in the, uh, you know, the game, the competitive Wi-Fi battling scene and all that good stuff. But hey, and sure, it's going to be a lot of fun, so we'll see how it goes. Now, one of my personal favorite bits of information that was revealed are the fact that the Kalos Region Starters Stage 1 Evolutions were finally revealed. That's right, Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie's Stage 1 Evolutions were all revealed. Now, we all know that Stage 1 is the awkward puberty phrase of all starter type Pokemon. So you're going to see some pretty interesting designs. However, I think they're all really, really cool in their own respects. We'll get into a picture of that in a little bit. Then there's also two new fossil Pokemon. That's right. We have a brown T-Rex and they have two types. Very, very cool. And we also have this uh, long neck dinosaur type Pokemon who also has two types, but we'll get into that in the Team Sinnoh video. I'm just going to show you pictures and let you know what the basics are about this information. Then we have that Llama Pokemon that was revealed. Remember that Llama Pokemon that was accidentally revealed in the Pokemon Direct Conference? Well, it has a name. It's a normal type, so it's pretty interesting. And you could actually, uh, you could actually, uh, groom this Pokemon, I guess you could say. You could groom this Pokemon, and, you know, I guess in a way, any way you want it to look. That's pretty interesting. There's also a, uh, you know, that psychic cat Pokemon. Remember Meowstic? That Pokemon was actually revealed. Uh, so it's very, very interesting. Uh, there actually are major, major gender differences. So we'll get into that in a little bit. Um, you know, we got some information about uh, Oblivion Ring, Parting Shot, and Geomancy, which are the moves. Uh, Team Flare has five scientists, so that's interesting. Then their goal is to create a beautiful new world, which actually reminds me of a lot of Team Galactic and Cyrus, but Cyrus wanted to destroy the universe and then create a universe in his image with the help of Palkia, Dialga, and Arceus. So maybe that'll kind of work into this. We'll have to wait and find out. Let's get into those pictures. I know you guys want to see those pictures, so let's start things off with the home run right here. Right off the bat, we got, boom, Mega Mewtwo. This is Mega Mewtwo X, obviously. Mega Mewtwo Y is the one with the tail coming from his head. This is the fighting type and psychic type Mewtwo. Interesting that they gave Mewtwo the fighting type, uh, along with its already awesome psychic type. It look, kind of looks like Lucario and Mewtwo kind of did the fusion dance, you know, from Dragon Ball Z. But it still looks very, very awesome, in my opinion. I really, really like this. I already pre-ordered Pokemon X, so I'm excited about this. Got to pre-order Pokemon Y, because, I mean, these games are really starting to impress me so far. I really, really, really like them. Really excited about them. Let's move on to Mega Garchomp. That's right, we have Mega Garchomp sitting right here with his, you know, his hands, or the blades on his hand got super bigger. I mean, they're huge. They turned red, and it just looked, the design looks really, really cool. They didn't really go overboard with it, but they made it just enough where it's going to look really, 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 really cool. I mean, it's got spikes all over him now, you know, on its stomach, on its chest. So it's really, really cool. I really like Garchomp, so I think it's going to be a very, very strong player in the game. I might have to use one myself. Uh, but, I mean, Garchomp was already super-powered already. Now it's just going to be 
ultra power with this mega evolution. Let's move on to this picture right here. As you guys can see, there is that llama Pokemon that was accidentally revealed. revealed. <laughs> uh, and there are, I guess those. that's what you can um, groom it into. Uh, yellow, blue, or... Um, Maybe this isn't a llama Pokemon. This might be a Poodle Pokemon. Because, I mean, we're, we're in France, right? The Kalos region is supposed to be France, right? And Poodles, you know, that's synonymous with France. And, you know, they groom their Poodles. So it could be a Poodle-type Pokemon. Maybe it's a llama Poodle. Who knows? Llama Poodle, why not? But uh, then we have the uh, the little cats. This is the female cat, I believe. And this is the male cat. Yeah, female is the white one. And uh, male is the blue one. Now, the female's move set is more supportive. You know, you got things like probably Wish and attacks like that. And then you have an all-out off offensive uh cat and this guy right here i wonder if these guys are gonna evolve who knows i kind of hope they do but they still look pretty awesome and then what i'm excited about i really love these fossil type pokemon right here i might have to get both of them we have this long neck little dinosaur pokemon right here he looks really 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 cool i'm excited to see what he's gonna look like when he evolves and then this one i'm definitely gonna have on my team this brown t-rex he just looks way awesome and i am excited for this guy um uh, he has a really awesome typing too which you'll hear in the team signal video that i review uh then down here we have the type chart, which even if you can't read Japanese, which I can't, you guys should be able to tell what type is which just by the colors alone. You know, like that's grass, bug, all that good stuff probably. And then uh, here is the five scientists of Team Flare. So we have, I'm assuming this guy might be the main guy. Then we have this guy chilling on the floor with his purple hat, uh, blue hair, green hair, and then this one's bending over. So we're, I'm excited to see how Team Flare is going to play out in the game. I really, really am. Um... I mean, I have all the Pokemon they revealed, all that good stuff. They revealed a lot of Pokemon so far. Believe it or not, it doesn't seem like it, right? But they did. And uh, this is the last Coral Coral leak that we will get before uh, the official release in October. So who knows what they're, what else they're going to reveal. Maybe on Pokemon Smash, we'll just have to wait and find out. Now let's get into the picture that I'm most excited to show you guys. And it is, boom, this one right here. We have the stage one awkward puberty phases of the Kalos region starters. So... <laughs> As you can see, Froakie's evolution honestly looks the most awesome, for stage one at least. Now, it does look like the bubbles that it had around its neck turned into like a superhero cape, which kind of makes sense. You know, it could be, you know, a fighting superhero water type frog. Maybe they'll call him Aquaman or something, but it's very, very cool. Now, we have uh, Fennekin, who actually stood up on her hind two legs, and now she has a stick coming out of her tail and a little chest piece to go along with uh, everything. So. Uh, it looks like Fennekin might be a witch type, as you can see the stick and the tail that kind of look like a broom. So, uh, not a witch type, obviously, but looking like a witch. So, with the fire psychic typing, which we know it's going to be, uh, it's really interesting to see that Fennekin might be a, you know, evolved from a fox into a witch. And there goes everyone's hope and dreams of, you know, <laughs> nicknaming Fennekin Firefox. But it's still, I think it's very, I think it's an interesting design. Do I necessarily like it? Eh, I'm on the fence about it. But I'm excited to see what the stage two evolutions will be. Now this one, I, I know it looks kind of derpy, but I love it. <laughs> I think uh, the chest spin evolution looks incredibly awesome. It reminds me so much of Crash Bandicoot, so I will definitely be naming my chest being Crash. Um, it just looks pretty cool. I'm excited to get it now. I really want to see what these stage two evolutions. But yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I will have a more detailed, informative video on Team Sinnoh shortly after this one is uploaded. Uh, let me know what you guys think about all this information down below in the comment section, especially these stage one evolutions. Let me know which one is your personal favorite. Uh, of course, give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. Let me see all those likes. I love them. I love seeing them. And besides, to help spread the word, we got to spread the Pokemon news around, guys. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching uh check out all the links down below stay tuned for team sinos video which i will put up shortly after this after i catch my breath <laughs> and i will see you all in the next video have a great night have a great day wherever you may be in the world i'll see you all in the next video bye guys